So in the past year, I've been able to generate over $45,000 in revenue. I heard about a side hustle that I've never heard about before. Someone filled me in and I was able to start this and now I can say that I'm earning some decent passive income from home. But since I've started, I've been banned a few times. I've had to deal with several issues. I've had to give a lot of money away. I can say that at the moment, it's still going strong and I'm going to show you guys every single thing. What you need to know so you can also start this yourself. So the side hustle that I'm talking about is eBay dropshipping and it's very, very simple. You simply buy a product from a retailer and you ship that to the buyer and whatsoever store that you're selling on now this is different from shopify because i don't have to run ads which is where most of the expense comes from when you're doing shopify drop shipping so when i came across this i thought wow something really simple something that works it doesn't cost me a single penny because everything is practically free so the main things i needed for this was an ebay account i also needed amazon prime so taking a look at these numbers we can see that i started around august i believe i listed a product or something you know in the first few days and two days later i made a sale now this was a eye shining moment of when i realized that there's a potential i made just one sale i was able to ship the product everything went smoothly there was no hassle whatsoever then a few days later i made three sales now this was when i knew that this was booming and one thing you might notice is the impressions getting this high of an impression is ridiculous something like 40 six thousand is a lot of impressions because even right now i'm getting over that at this moment but this is you know a year later of me listing a ton of products so when i first started i was getting a ton and a ton of support from ebay they were pushing my products out there they were pushing me as a seller so everything was going really smoothly but i wasn't making that much sales but this was the beginning and of course it was going quite well from august to october i sold 105 items in total had over 2 million impressions which is definitely good for a beginner so these numbers should show you there's a lot of potential in this and bear in mind all this cost me was just for amazon prime and just being able to buy the products but then ebay eventually pays me so the only cost there was just having amazon prime which most people had anyway so skipping ahead to a few months later this was around november to february period now this was when things went up a, a different level this was when i was making a decent amount of money and we can see that then i was making maybe five sales in a day six sales the next day 11 sales another day so we can see that things were gradually stepping up i had around two almost three million impressions at that time and in the space of those few months I had 485 sales now how i was getting my products was slightly different i was getting my products through amazon's best sellers and lister which is a software that i was using i was listing products i was trying to just increase every single day because my theory was the more you just list the more money you potentially make because random items will sell i wasn't really doing too much product research now i'm going to tell you that this changed later on so stay tuned for that now i can't say that i'm making a stupid amount of money every single day so it definitely changed significantly now i will tell you that although it seems like i'm making a decent amount of sales here it's not compared to how much i'm making now because i did change a few things i changed the way i also find my products but still this was not too bad if we actually look at the january period this was when something happened things got a little bit sticky things got a little bit tight now i was getting low sales this was when my sales dropped down to three sales two sales a day one sale a day now the reason for this was just because i deleted a ton of products i came to a realization at one point that i was listing too much nonsense products and then the cost became incredibly high after a while when you start listing a ton of products ebay will begin to charge you for every single listing so this was just adding up and adding up and adding up and the problem was only like one percent of these items were selling so i almost got to like three thousand listings but then I'm only getting a few amount of sales. So it wasn't really worth it. And in total, I would say I was making around $40 per week. So that wasn't really a lot of money. You know, although I had a ton of listing, I was making a ton of sales. My profit margin was also incredibly low. I was sometimes selling at like 8%. This would mean I was getting like 50 cents or so per sale in profit, which was definitely not really doing it for me. And though I'm getting a lot of sales, this is sort of flagging my account up as well on Amazon because I'm making a lot of sales, but I'm not making a lot of money back in profit. So things had to change. So I deleted a ton of items and I wanted to go back from scratch. So now the present moment. Now we can see that the first thing is that my average sales percentage has gone up significantly it was about 1.2 percent before and now it's on 3.8 so this means i'm making a ton more sales now just looking at the numbers alone we can see now i'm making 13 sales 22 19 15 now the only reason for this is that two things change how i find my products as well as how i carry out my sales so with these two changes i've gone from making 40 dollars a week to around 200 dollars a week so there's a lot more growth that has to come but all of this has just been 
in a year. So I switched to using AutoDS, not because the software I was using before was bad, but once you begin making a lot of sales, you want this to be automated and the software I was using prior was not automated. So it all depends on preference. So this carries out the orders for me. As you can see right now, I actually have an order in process. So it's going to process the order, it's going to carry it out. But one of the biggest changes that I made was making sure that all my profits were around $1. Now don't get me wrong, everyone has their humble beginnings. When I first started, I had to make the little pennies. This was just to build up my account to get the review and also for experience. After a while, once you begin getting solid products, you are able to actually increase your profit. Do not try to do this unless you have very, very good product. But I'll tell you how I get my product shortly. But back in May, I was selling items that would make me, you know, 65, 54, just 20 pence, 11, 75. Now all of this in total is barely making me two pounds. So you can see that it's not really worth it. You know, it's a bit annoying, but that's the one change I've made. But AutoDS has been amazing for me. It's one I'll definitely recommend because it carries out the sale. It does the price and stock update by itself as well. So if you do want to try it out for a week for just $1, then there will be a link down in the description below. I'm telling you, I can't make this up. Whilst recording, I just made another sale and we can see that the sale is right here. And again, I made a pound 71 for another item. So today, I'm going to make a decent amount of money. That's why right now I'd say sometimes I'm making around $40 every single day. Sometimes it could be more, it could be slightly less. And all of this is literally just happening even while I'm sleeping, whilst I'm awake, whilst I'm out, whilst I'm eating, whilst I'm, you know, just chilling. Now the big game changer for me that increased the sales significantly is when I found out about Zik Analytics, especially the pro features. I decided to try this out and it's helped me to find products easily without you know doing too much work for example this is one of the features the pro features called autopilot and all i have to do is just put a name put the amount of sales that i want so if i want a product that i sold a minimum of once and i want it to be 80 dollars and upwards and i want the sales success rate to be about 100 percent competition in the past 30 days everything includes similar items and i'm able to easily find this now once you do that here's an example you're able to easily find all these items it shows you the pictures it shows you similar ones it shows you one it all depends if you want similar items i'm able to select similar items so that way i'm able to bring something new onto ebay sometimes i'll be the only seller of one item so that means i'm generating all the income from that one item because other sellers don't have it so something like this you know this is two similar toilets I believe they even have very, very similar names. It shows me the price, it shows me the sold through rate. Success rate is 83%, which shows me my profit margin and everything. And all I have to do is literally take all of these boxes and just upload it. Or I can export the CSV and I'm able to just list this onto my store. It's very, 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 very simple extremely simple but it's been a game changer through this alone my impressions have increased significantly but this means my items are selling a lot more people are clicking on it people are just interested in these products because you're selling winning product so i can't go into more detail on zik analytics but that will probably be in another video but if you do want to try out zik as well the link will be down in the description below all right so let's talk so the three big problems that i faced one of them is having to deal with amazon brand so once you begin earning a ton of money you begin selling items over and over and over again amazon is going to eventually catch on and they will be a pain in the cheeks so there are several ways to kind of get on amazon brand but it's not really permanent but once my account got banned the biggest problem was that all of the items that were shipping so you know let's say the day before i shipped 13 items now all of these items can sometimes get cancelled and you're not going to know because you can't access your account so a few days later you're going to have customers telling you some of them received their item some of them didn't receive their item you can't really check you can't confirm you can't message amazon either to ask them where's my item so it's just a whole bunch of mess that you have to deal with once that happens so i had to refund a ton of customers for free without you know knowing how to get their item back or anything but the best part about this is because i had a lot of money in profit I was, I was able to give them their money back from the profit and I still had a decent amount of profit at the end of the month. But how I've been able to deal with Amazon Band is that I always have two accounts every single time. I've always created one just in case one gets banned and I always make a legit order through that second account. So this is a backup account. I always make a legit order to the billing address just to be safe so Amazon knows that this account has a bit of date to it. You always want to have that account already made the reason why is because once you make a brand new account start making sales on it you're going to be in big trouble because it gets flagged immediately so once i get banned i just move on to that account and i start making sales from there and it seems to have been working for me so far if things change and i'm just gonna to have to find a new method this is very very important because once you get banned you're still going to get an orders from ebay you don't want to stop your orders from coming through you don't want to take down every single item so you always 
always need to have a backup, a way to continue to carry out your sales no matter what happened. Now, the second issue that I faced, this was probably six months in, was just paying a lot and not getting a lot of profit back. And I've already showed you guys how I solved that. I just used a proper product research method. Rather than getting my products from Amazon bestsellers, which does work, but it's more of a random scramble and just hoping you find the best item, this one, actually finds the best items for you. Now, the third biggest problem was tracking numbers. Not being able to upload tracking numbers on eBay means that the customer can pretty much always get you if they want to. You're kind of trusting them, but you're hoping that they don't cause a fuss because once they say that they haven't received their item, the only way to actually win that case is by telling or just providing a tracking number. If you can't provide a tracking number, there's nothing much you can really do. Now, free auto DS, which is another thing that I showed you guys, they provide tracking numbers. They have Blue Care and Blue Care provides the tracking numbers onto eBay automatically so everything gets sorted. So that is why having AutoDS has been a big, big thing for me because there's been several times customers wanna complain. They say they haven't got their items. Some people even wanna scam you, to be honest. You can definitely tell that they are. But at the moment you're able to provide a tracking number, there's nothing they can do. You always win the case pretty much 99% of the time. As long as it shows that the item got to the person's address, then you're good to go. So just last month, eBay sent me 5,000 pounds and that was my pay for the month. And my profit margin is approximately 20% now. So if we can continue to do that every single month for the next year, that's going to be 60,000 pounds. Per year so do i recommend taking the risk and actually try not ebay drop shipping definitely but it's always up to you but this has been my experience in the past year